Hi. Well, today I'm going to start with the feet. I'm going to do a, a male cardinal. And so I'm painting with golden acrylics his feet first. That way I can put it all together when I get the body felted. Notice that I painted his toenails black. And I'm using, uh, you know, a little bit of uh, red and ochre and some Titan buff. The beak is painted orange. And I've got that wire that I hook into my little ball of wool. And that holds it into place really well. You just kind of knit that wool around that hooked wire that's stuck inside the beak. And then that doesn't move. And it's a good marker for the face. Then you know where to put the eyes. You know, and this um, white wool, well, it's really not white, it's kind of a beige. I do the whole bird in this uh, beige wool, you know, because if you did it all in just a red or whatever, then it kind of looks fakey like. So you want to be able to have layers of color. All right, so I form the body. You know, it takes quite a bit of poking, it's a lot of detail to a bird. shaping and poking <laughs> working down towards the tail here and see I have that it's kind of like uh, beneath it is a styrofoam block and then you put a material over it. That way you don't get the lint all stuck on your styrofoam. It's really not a foam rubber block. And then the felt doesn't, or the wool doesn't stick to your foam rubber. I'm going to put the Cardinal's mask on with some black wool. And that's a very good distinguishing characteristic of the uh, Cardinal going to glue in the eyes here, you got to really poke a hole in the eye to get that uh, bead, or it's a glass kind of bead eye. Now here I'm taking a little bit of, uh, um, what do you call it, um, florist green wire, you can't really see it on the uh, dark pad there, but I kind of stuck it up his tail area and ran it down his tail and now I'm covering with black wool so you don't see the wire. This way you can uh, bend the tail any which way you want and uh, it, it makes it a little more uh, stiff if you will for positioning. And then run this part down the tail a little bit. Seeing so you can shape the body. I figure if you can draw, you can sculpt. See how it bent like that? That's the little green wire inside of there. And I kind of want his body and I want his head cocked and his tail swished forward a little bit. Mm-hmm. See how that beak is placed in there real well. So you hold it the way you, you know, want the head to go and knit it into that position. You'd be surprised how round a uh, cardinal is. So now that I got the body pretty well shaped, I'm going to start putting the red on it. See, and you can see through that a little bit, and I layer it with colors. But that's like where the wing is going to go. And I'm using my finer uh, needle. I like that because it leaves less holes throughout the body, so to speak. Like. 
when you're doing the underbody, so to speak, you can use a, a bigger a bigger needer, needle for faster knitting. See how I can comb that over. Mm-hmm. Now here I have most of the body covered. And I'm making his little uh, tip wing. So I'm going to do that separate because what I found is if you do it on the bird, you end up flattening your bird. It's important to keep it round. You don't want it to be square. So these kinds of details I do separately and then attach. And I'm going to add some, uh, a little bit of black lines to indicate, you know, the feathers folded, closed. And you can see how I'm doing that. Trim off what you don't want. Check in the other side. Here is the trick where you don't stab yourself. You never really pull the needle all the way out. You let it slide up and down inside your fingers so you don't poke yourself. I've poked myself so many times now <laughs> that I don't even bleed anymore. That's when you know you're a real professional. Eh, so actually it depends on what finger you hit because not all of them get poked evenly. So I know this is a long process. <laughs> Believe me, these are just a few minutes of what I'm doing. Um, I do a lot of work in between making the clips to get the bird to look the way I want it to look. Mm-hmm. Put a little black underneath there. Uh, I use a black and a brown because black can be stark. It's really dark and light, just like painting, dark and light. People like the cardinal because they think it reminds them of their lost loved one every time they see a cardinal. Every time I find a dime, apparently that's supposed to be my Aunt Carol. So I got a little jug of uh, dimes that I find. I found one the other day riding my bike down to the intercoastal. And... Um, there was a dime laying there in the mulch, so I picked it up and threw it in my basket. All right, anyway, back to the birdie. Uh, trim, you know, trim, trim, trim. See, now I got that little wing tip on there. Now I got to do the other side, so. See how I put that orange under his tail there, and see how you can see the beige kind of poking through the red wool. Shaping the wing. Hold them down there. You can just stick them there until you come back for more. All right. So I'm doing the other little tip of the other side of the tip wing. Putting the lines in there. Mm -hmm. 
See a little trick there is I got two needles. I don't know if you can see it. One holds it on the end and then that way you can uh, form a line without the little piece sliding forward. That's a good tip. Form the wing and then I'll put that little tip piece in there. I kind of want it to be underneath because it's under the sh these are the longer wing part of the wing and it goes underneath the shorter part of the wing. You know, and see how I can you can form it. And it ends up being pretty dense after you add all this, which holds its shape really well. Now look at all the detail I put on uh, the wing. I'm putting on like a little eyebrow on him. Cut that off, do both sides. I don't know, I'm kind of, you know, a lot of little muscles in a bird head, believe it or not. Starting to look like a cardinal now. Here I use brown in those uh, for the details. You know, it doesn't have to be exact, for heaven's sakes. You don't want to stress out over it. This is your rendition of what a cardinal looks like. I mean, it's not like you have a live cardinal standing right there comparing. So, you can be designerly about it. You know, I think the key is, is you don't want to enclose shapes. And you want thick and thins, a meandering line. You don't want to have everything so even. See the little, uh, I used a pale orange under that wing. They have lighter feathers behind their wing there. You know, and I even tried to do the scalloped, like, end of a feather. Here I'm pulling some of that out. Because I didn't like, you just pick it up with the needle and, you know, put it where you want it. But you have to be careful with that, not to pull too hard. You don't want to break your needle. So you should have a bunch of needles anyway, because, you know, things happen. adding a little more in there. Now if you can see at the end of that wing I noticed it isn't closed so I want to run a little bit of that dark color off the end tip of that wing because I don't want it to be so geometric so to speak Put a little bit of that light orange in there. See how I pull it to get a little line, snip. Put that all in there. Now you got to do the whole other side. All right, now I'm going to start layering some of these uh, lighter colors over the red. So I'm using a light orange. And you can pull this real thin so that you can see the red come through as well. And that gives your bird a little more dimension. Makes it a little more realistic looking. You know, you kind of want to get it in a nice kind of, like a wash, if you will, of wool. And even if only a little bit pokes out, that that's fine. But see, you can almost comb it with your uh, needle, you know, and I'll end up putting a little a thin layer of red over top of that. So it's just peeking through. Okay, I put the feet in. Now remember, I had, I had already painted those. So once I get these final touches on, I'm going to be finished. Now I'm trying to make a... Um, that orange, that was my reference there, under the tail, kind of 
look gradated instead of just a block of orange. So I combed it out so that it would taper into the red. And that's what I'm doing there. Now I did glue the feet in. Now I'm shaping uh, this back side of the bird. I'm getting his body all together. I'm going to add a little more on his chest because they really do have a round chest. You wouldn't think so, but they do. They have a very round chest. Just knit that right in there. Even after all that orange layer layering I did, you just cover it up. If it doesn't work, it's like painting over it. But still, you can see a little bit poking through. And that's about it, you know. A cardinal. Beautiful cardinal.